My speech today is entitled, The Rebirth of Americanism. Now, last year you might remember talk show host Bill Maher. He said that we needed to get over the idea of American exceptionalism. He called us a stupid country. Not long after that, a Georgetown professor, you might remember, wrote an article in the New York Times calling the Constitution archaic. He said we had to give it up. What about uh, Dennis Rodman? You remember him, former Chicago Bull? Dennis Rodman, as many of you know, has befriended Kim Jong-un, the totalitarian dictator who's threatening nuclear war in the United States. When asked about North Korea's history of, of violence, of, of death camps, his reply was that we do the same thing here. And even Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney, you might remember, he supported more regulation, bailouts for the automakers, socialized health care, just like President Obama. When you look at all of these examples, not to mention the ones I see week in and week out on Fox News Channel, one thing I believe becomes blatantly clear. Americans on both sides of the aisle are ignorant. They have no idea what capitalism is, what Americanism is, what makes America great, what makes it unique throughout history. They simply have no idea what the principles of Americanism actually are. So what we need, I see some signs that we don't need term limits. We don't need better regulation, better rules. We need, in my opinion, better philosophy. We need the rebirth of Americanism, the principle of individual rights. Anyway, in every other civilization in history, your life belonged to someone else. You know, it belonged to the, the king, the priest, the Fuhrer, I don't know, maybe Melissa Harris Perry's common good. It, it didn't belong to you. But born of the Enlightenment, the United States was the first country in history that said, your life belongs to you. And government's role, its only role, is your protection, not your domination, not your submission, not your control. This is it. Folks, that is it. That is the fundamental issue on everything, on taxes, on regulation, on health care. That is it. Your life, your liberty, your pursuit of happiness. I mean, that, that means something, folks. It's not just a tweet. It's not just a bumper sticker saying that means something. The right to life, your life belongs to you. It doesn't belong to one other man, it doesn't belong to a million other men. The right to liberty, that is the right to action, to make choices, to pursue them, to earn money, to keep money, it is tax day after all, to keep your property. And of course the right to happiness, I mean, that means the right to live for yourself and to value the things that you choose to value, what you wish to pursue. That is Americanism. And that is very much unique to America, but these days it's no longer even mentioned, let alone defended. For example, you might remember the fact that the United States is the only major country without a socialized health care program. I mean, that was one of the main factors that contributed to the passage of Obamacare. And how many times have you all heard that we need to keep pouring billions of dollars of taxpayer money uh, down with these ridiculous cockamamie green energy programs? Why? Well, China's doing it. We've heard that before. And that Republicans, who are the supposed defenders of liberty, of individual rights, the fact that Republicans continue to advocate against marriage equality, against women's abortion rights, against freedom of science, in my opinion, is just as depraved. I was at the first Tea Party five years ago, and I think what makes all of our work so important is that these days both parties are ready and willing to sacrifice the individual for the greater good. I mean, just consider today's topics, regulation and taxes. In a free nation, government does not regulate citizens' lives. It doesn't tell you what type of health insurance you have to buy. It doesn't tell you what type of light bulb you have to put in your home. It doesn't tell you what size soda you have to buy. You're free to make those decisions on your own. And of course, the only thing that regulations grow are more regulations. You know, every day for the last 20 years, there has been 11 new federal laws passed, federal regulations passed, to limit your freedom. There's been 67,000 new regulations passed in the last 20 years. That's 11 every day for the last 20 years. What's needed is not more regulations, better regulations. It's more freedom. 
and in Springfield and Washington, D.C. That's where they need to begin to understand. And then, of course, then, of course, there are taxes. Now, I don't know, I haven't checked today. Has Warren Buffett or Will Smith or Stephen King tweeted about how much extra in taxes they're paying today? I mean, they've all... No, they haven't? Well, it's so surprising, because they've all advocated for more taxes, for higher taxes. And they're sick to do so, because taxes are force. Taxes are not, as the president likes to say, you know, just asking for a little bit more. It's not just, hey man, can you help me out? It's force. It's, it's, it's government taking it. It's government coming to your house with a gun and demanding it. And to advocate for more taxes is wrong, especially on, you know, today's tax, tax day, but of course Tax Freedom Day, the day you actually fi finally get done paying your taxes, that's not going to come, folks, for another week. So think about it. You're going to work another week after this one. Then, only then, can you finally start making money for yourself. Your life, your liberty, your happiness. I make this point because, as was just mentioned, you know, we have now the worst credit rating here in Illinois, the worst credit rating in the state. That honor used to belong to California, now belongs us, us to here in Illinois. And in California, in New York, you now have individuals paying in excess of 50% of their income to government. Now, what do you call somebody who works but doesn't keep the product of his labor? What, who is that? It's a slave. Exactly, that's a slave. Well, you know what? In California, they're halfway there. In New York, they're halfway there. And we're headed in very much that direction here in Illinois and in the country writ large. We should fight against taxes. We should fight against regulation. But what we should fight for is Americanism, individual rights, the rebirth of the self-interested, individualistic American principle that regards each of us not as sacrifices for the greater good, but as sovereign individuals, each with our own life, our own liberty, and our own happiness. Yeah! If, this, if this country is going to survive, that is the Americanism we must fight to revive. Thank you very much. Yeah!